Hello again, everybody. This is Scott from Comic Book Hangover, uh, delivering the uh, long-promised but horribly delayed video of the uh, the items that I received with my Weird Al Yankovic squeeze box collection. It did arrive. It got a little bit of, uh, a little bit ago, but uh, because of time, uh, having a little boy work, I didn't have a lot of time available to get this video done. But I'm finally going to get it round to it, doing it right now uh, because it, this thing is is really really awesome. So. Uh, before we go, here's the shirt. It, it looked kind of big in the last video. I know when I when I pulled it out, it looked like it was huge, but it's actually quite quite comfortable. Awesome little picture on the front there. But um, uh, going straight to the uh, straight to the squeeze box. So this is actually the box that the squeeze box arrived in. This thing was massive. Kind of had me worried there for a second. But once I got it open, I got everything out. I went ahead and took everything out, so it'd be a lot easier to show you guys. But this is the actual squeeze box. This is what the item looks like. It's a replica of uh, Weird Al's. Actually, I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> it's a replica of uh, Weird Al's uh, accordion, his squeeze box. So you've got uh, the, the Waymobi logo there. It's all those little buttons there uh, on the front. It even says, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it very well, but it says Yankovic across the front. That's kind of cool. Those little uh, buttons there. And it even opens up like an accordion. Uh, the uh, the discs, I got the CD version, uh, the discs, where did they go? Actually kind of went in that area there. As I said, I took them out, but there's all your little sleeves there that uh, were, uh, that's where your, your disc uh, holders go. So this thing, this thing is really awesome. Uh, it's it's, it's going to make a really good display with some of my other Weird Al stuff. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting a shelf and, and getting that uh, going. Uh, also with the squeeze box, before we get to the CDs, it came with the, with this book here. Uh, the Complete Works of Weird Al Yankovic book. Uh, what this does is it, it goes through each of the albums, chapter by chapter, and it uh, kind of gives you a little bit of a, a, a quick history of each album. It uh, you know tells you uh, when it was released, where it was you know when it was recorded. It gives you the credits, the songs that were on it, and you know a bunch of the promo pictures and behind the scenes pictures that uh, were taken uh, at the time that the album was released. You see some. Uh, uh, some flyers from some early concerts that uh, Al did, but it does that uh, throughout the entire book. I mean, there's there's a few pictures in here that I've seen before, but there's a lot of pictures in here that I haven't seen before. Uh, but it, it's it's some really really good stuff. The book is definitely definitely worth having. So um, the main part would be the CDs. Now the CDs didn't come in a regular CD case. They came in little replicas of the album art. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than than an actual album is. I'll I'll show you a size comparison here in a second. But uh, you get uh, the, the the original artwork in the front, which is really cool. Cause, I mean, some of the stuff uh, over the years we've seen them on cassette tape, we've seen them on CD mostly. But it's nice to actually see it larger again, especially the first one, because there's a lot of stuff going on here. If you look closer, it's like every it's about every item in his room here represents a song that's on the album. Uh, there's Mr. Frump and the Iron Lung. There's, you know, I Love Lucy. I think there's a the little thing of Rocky Road. Another one rides the bus. I mean, there's, there's everything is in here. And you flip it over, you get the back of what was the album, but now it's holding the CD. CDs are all in the center here. Uh, each one is color-coded. So you've got the color. So in case you're you know, completely clueless and don't know which one goes with which, and the CD has a little... Um, has the the logo from the actual album art and it has a little squeeze box logo on the bottom there so those are that's pretty cool but that's this is the first one the original weird album and then we have the second one in 3d same thing it's got uh, the CD in the back and the, little, the original box art now this is the one where I can do an actual side-by-side -side comparison because I have the original uh, in 3d album so you can see it's, it's a it's a little bit smaller but the picture is the same. It's all set up the exact same. And you look at the back and uh, look at the back. And it's basically the same thing, except for there's a CD now in the center instead of the, uh, instead of the credits, the album credits. So you have Weird Al in 3D. Dare to be stupid. Now these are also going to look pretty cool if you can if you can find frames and put them up on your wall, which you know I, w I would recommend anybody who get this do this and do this sort of thing. Just put them up on your walks. It's awesome. it's awesome. It's great to share. Polka party, and again there's the back of polka party. It's pretty cool. Even worse, it's when he really really started to hit the mainstream when he uh, parodied Michael Jackson's 
bad. Uh, of course, he did his fat. There's the back of that. It's awesome. The UHF original soundtrack. There's the back of that. It's pretty awesome. Smells like Nirvana. Of course, uh, the uh, uh, Nirvana parody album art. Pretty awesome. There's the back of that. Love that one. And this one is my my son's one of my son's personal favorite uh, videos. He loves the video for uh, Jurassic Park from the Alapalooza album. It's one he's always wanting to listen to and, and watch. And then we have Bad Hair Day. And we're kind of getting to the ones that were never released in the album, so it's kind of cool to see some of this uh, some of this art sort of enlarged that uh, we hadn't seen before, uh, like Running with Scissors. Um, may have been released an album, I, I don't know, but I've, I've never seen it released on, uh, on vinyl. But it's, it's really cool to kind of see that uh, a little bit larger. And a poodle hat. And there's the back for the poodle hat. So this, this, this is such an awesome set. I absolutely love this set. One of my favorite uh, album arts, uh, straight out of Linwood. This is just a, uh, it's one of my favorite ones. I don't know why it's one of my favorite ones, but it is. It's, it's one of my favorites. And Alpocalypse. Again, one that does, I don't think it's ever been released on LP. So it's nice to see it a little bit enlarged, a little bit bigger than a CD and a little bit bigger than a DVD and Blu-ray uh, box art. So there's the, uh, the back for that one. And then his uh, final studio album, <clears throat> Mandatory Fun. Again, also really cool to see it enlarged. And there's the back for Mandatory Fun. And uh, the additional album, so you get all that, <clears throat> all remastered. The songs all sound great. Um, I've been listening to them a lot. My little boy's been listening to them a lot. Uh, we were we were uh, getting in the car today, and he wanted to listen "Dare to Be Stupid." He likes to, he likes that song specifically from that album. Always puts a smile on his face. But the bonus um, bonus disc is the Amer Medium Rarities. This is the art for this. And this is kind of weird because if you flip it over, the disc is kind of upside down. But you can go like this, and that's right set up. It's like a magic trick. It's awesome. But uh, this will have um, uh, like the original recordings for Mind Bologna and Yoda. has a Dr. Demento jingle. Some stuff that was never released before, like the uh, the Pac-Man um, parody. Um, there's a Lousy Haircut's little thing from his uh, Weird Al show that he had on Saturday mornings. Uh, the uh, Homer and Marge song he did on The Simpsons, which is actually kind of funny. Uh, the Comedy Bang Bangs uh, theme song. If you're fans of the uh, epic rap battles of history, you know they did a Bill Nye versus uh, Isaac uh, Isaac Newton. Uh, Weird Al played Isaac Newton. That's on here as well in its entirety. We've also got uh, uh, Beat the Brat, which is a, a punk cover that Weird Al did of a Ramon song. that's going to be featured on an upcoming Dr. Demento CD where a lot of his classic stuff is going to be covered with punk bands, including the Misfits. Kind of cool. But that is the, the, the full set. We've been listening to this every day. I've been taking the discs to work and listening to work because I can. Uh, my little boy loves it. So it, it's it's a great set. Well worth the money. Well worth the wait. Loving the shirt. Uh, I got to work up uh, the uh, the nerve to actually put those uh, those awesome socks on my feet and, and, and wear them in shoes and run the risk of getting them dirty. But I, 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 I'm working my way up to that. But... The set's awesome. Uh, the, the the folks who put it together did a really good job. I'm, I'm really digging it. My son's really digging it. It's great to have you know these songs that I can share with him now. So there you go. There's the the Weird Al Yankovic squeeze box collection. Again, looks like an accordion. Now I can pretend that I know how to play the accordion, which I, I couldn't play this thing to save my life. So I, I got nothing but respect for the people who were able to do it. So uh, so I'm gonna wrap it up. That's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that sorry that it took so long. And if you want to see the stuff that came with it, including the T-shirt, um, I, I could put a link in the description below to the other video of the stuff that that I got ahead of time, which is the other uh, shirt, some magnets, these magnets, and some other things. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. See you.